In this video, I want to talk about my experience making a full stack web app from start to finish and why I did it and how it went. So I graduated college last year with a computer science degree and I wanted to use my experience and the stuff that I learned from my degree to make something on my own. I've done many small projects in the past for classes and just on my own, but none of them ever turned into something that was usable by other people other than myself. I've only made things in the terminal or short Python scripts, nothing really with a good user interface where people could interact with it, and it was nothing that was ever really deployable. So my goal was just to think of any idea and execute it from start to finish and have a fully fleshed out app. That's when I decided to make FastingPal. FastingPal is a weight management app that uses intermittent fasting to help you reach your goals. The reason this app is unique is because of the fact that it adapts to your progress every day and then adjusts your eating window to keep you on track. So how did I actually come up with the idea? I came up with the idea for this app during my senior year of college, but at the time it had nothing to do with intermittent fasting. In fact, I didn't even know what that was. My original idea that eventually turned into FastingPal was just a simple Python script that wouldn't let you eat unless you were below a certain weight. So it might make this graph and then if you're above the weight, you couldn't eat and you'd have to keep weighing yourself until you were below the weight and then you could eat. It was really difficult to follow because it didn't account for how much your weight fluctuates from day to day. So there'd be some days where you were actually making good progress, but because your weight naturally fluctuates, the app wouldn't let you eat at all. So although this idea could possibly work if you had very extreme discipline, it wasn't that practical and very hard to follow. So I basically just scrapped that project and thought it was just a bad idea. And I basically just threw it aside. But then about six months later, I heard, started hearing about this thing called intermittent fasting. And I didn't think too much about it at first, but then when I looked into it a little bit more, I realized that the fasting windows were kind of similar to what I was doing originally. And I was seeing that a ton of people were having huge success with intermittent fasting. So I realized that I could adapt my old project into the new one with the help of intermittent fasting. And it taught me a valuable lesson that any idea could become a good idea if you just pivot it a little bit. Pivot! So now with the help of intermittent fasting, I was able to account for the fluctuations in the day because I could take the average weight over the last few days or the last week and then use that to calculate what your eating window should be. And then it also solved the problem of the other app making you only eat late at night because you finally got below that certain weight that you're supposed to be. With the intermittent fasting involved, I was able to just say, you could eat for eight hours today, you choose when. So it made it easier to follow and gave less fluctuations in what it told you to do. And so far I've had a few people use it and there's been some pretty promising results. Well, I used the app for a few months and I actually lost 15 pounds. I would say that it does take some discipline to follow the eating windows laid out by the app, but if I ever found that it was getting too difficult, I would just adjust my goal until I got back on track. So I wanted to get text notifications on this web app because of the fact that right now it is only a web app. I'd love to make a mobile version soon and I'm working on it, but since it doesn't exist yet, I felt like the lack of push notifications was a big deal. So to make up for that, I included text notifications on the app. The text notification system is used to remind users to enter their weight in the morning, it also tells them when their eating window is starting and ending. But the only downside with this is that it actually does cost money. And right now I'm letting any user that signs up use text notifications, but I think it's about half a cent per text. And although that's not a lot up front, if I get a lot more users and they're free users, it could end up causing me to make no profit at all. Eventually I will try to phase out the text notifications unless you're a premium user. Hopefully you get mobile push notifications set up so the text notifications aren't necessary. So what did I learn throughout this whole process? I would say that one of the main things that I learned was that making a fully fleshed out app has a pretty huge learning curve. Making simple apps has like a very small learning curve. You could start today and have a small terminal app working for you. And that's something that just spits out text. Like if I, I was just planning on making this website just for myself, I could have finished it in a day and it would have done what I wanted. Would it have looked pretty? No. Would it have been secure? Definitely not. However, if you want to make a fully complete app that people could actually use, I realize that there's a lot of little things that go into it that you never realize when you're clicking through the web. I'd say that now that I've climbed the learning curve a little bit, if I were to start over from scratch, it would be a lot easier for me and I would probably get it done three times faster than I did. So since I'm making this video, it must mean that my app is hugely successful, right? Well, not exactly, because I haven't really shared it too much and I haven't done advertising yet. But with the small amount of users that I have had, 
I was able to make $45. Well, 50 if you include myself, because I accidentally paid for it once. But at least I got most of my money back from that purchase. Um, I will say that just making $45 online is just a huge motivator because it shows that it is possible. And I've heard other people talk about this feeling before, and it's just hard to describe. It just shows you that, wow, this could be a real thing. I'd, that's why I switched to computer science. Originally, I was a mechanical engineering major, but I didn't see myself being able to use that skill on my own. And I'd say that becoming a programmer, you're instantly an entrepreneur because you have these skills to just make whatever you think of. And that's why I switched majors because I saw that potential in programming. So if you're interested in programming, I'd say it's a great idea because you could just use these skills in no matter what field you go in. So the next step for me would probably be making a mobile app. And the way I plan on doing it is using Flutter. So what Flutter is, is it's a programming language that works on any screen and any device. So if I wanted to make my app using Flutter, I could basically just put it on one of those smart refrigerators and it would work. Because all it needs is a blank canvas and it will work on it. And that's useful for me because originally I thought I would have to learn how to make devices for Apple and how to make it for Android. As a solo developer, Flutter is definitely the better choice because I don't have to waste my time writing the same code twice. The final thing I need to do is focus on advertising. I don't have too much personal experience with advertising, so it's gonna have some learning curve, but that's what I'm gonna be focusing on researching and how to improve from here on out. And I guess you could say that this video is a form of advertising because I'm talking about it with you guys. However, I just wanted to share my experience making this, but if you are interested in using the app, I'll put a two month free coupon code down below so you guys could try it out and tell me what I could improve on and probably on the screen too once I figure out what it is. However, I do think that the way the app's set up right now is you do have to enter your credit card information to use the coupon code. So to combat that, I'm also offering two weeks free with no card required. So if you just wanna go check out the app that I've been talking about in this video, the link to that will be down below and it is fastingpal.com. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you wanna see any of my future content, feel free to subscribe and hit the bell notification to get notified when I release new videos.